a special month for me. December, I, I guess you want to say December is a special month for everybody, but it's in particularly special for me because this is when I actually started driving uh, several years ago. And this is actually the perfect time to get into trucking because you'll get a full range of experience while you're out here in the winter months. I throw chains on the tires, definitely get your experience in on that. Get your experience in mountain driving as well. But what you wanna do is get it all during the winter months where the weather is dangerous and the and the traffic is dangerous and the road is dangerous that's when you get your best experience in me i learned uh i learned all my experience driving a truck during the winter months i started in uh december and uh and I upgraded, I upgraded in February. So most of you know, the first company that I started out with was uh, US Express. When I got there, I was, um, I was excited, of course. Nervous, of course. Greenhorn, of course. So everything you can imagine that was going through my head and that was going through me at the time it was so much emotions you know I thought when I got there with US Express I thought that was gonna be the the be-all end-all with that company I really wanted at that time US Express to be the company that I will retire from but life change and things happen and you know, the Lord put something else in your hand that might be a little better than where you was at. So, when the opportunity for JNR Schwugel to open up, um, I was glad that Sarah called me the day after, uh, the day after I was let go with US Express to offer me an opportunity to come over and drive for JNR Swoogle. So I'm here. Now we're here. I'm here now at JNR Swoogle. Uh six six or seven months deep, you know, doing real well, making good money, doing good miles, and getting home when I want to. Stop off this morning. Got an early start. Started up at uh, four this morning. Left around 4:30. So it's a week before Christmas, man. Will I make it home? I don't know. I'm gonna try and make it home for uh, Christmas. I'm here at the uh, world's largest truck stop. I love the uh, restaurant here, so of course I'm about to go in here and get some breakfast. There has been a change of plans. Got that good call from the fleet manager. Now I got a pre-trip over to Illinois right quick. So I gotta go to Illinois, pick up this load from a driver and take it back up to Wisconsin. So now I gotta go to, I guess this Petro, I think, and go pick up this one load from this one driver and, um, and take that load over to Wisconsin. So 
So let's go ahead and uh, head and uh, meet up with the driver, I guess, and um, switch loads. trailer right here at uh, Rochel, Rochel, Illinois, heading back up to Wisconsin, which is only about an hour and a half from here, 89, 89 miles, but the load ain't due to drop until 11.30 tonight, so I'm on my way there now. Well, can't check in early, so unfortunately I gotta I gotta wait for my appointment time, which is later on tonight at 9.30. So I guess uh I guess that's what I'm gonna have to do. You know. That's what it is. That's that's what they say. This is this is trucking, right? This is it right here paperwork buildings right there uh, unfortunately I can't um, I can't get unloaded early has to be done by the appointment time You can call me a hat fanatic. Look at that. All black. Look at that. It's not about the team. It's about the hat. Since I'm rolling all over the 48 states and all like that, I figure I got to get a souvenir from each state that I go to. Some collect pins. Some collect t-shirts. Some collect those little magnets. Me? I collect hats. I am about to go and get something to eat. And it's been a minute since I've been to this place, but I am about to head over to Red Lobster. Red Lobster. Man, good food. Good food. Now I'm about to head back to the truck. So let's get back to the truck right now. At the truck. You have one unread message. Hmm. I got an unread message right quick. Got to go and check that out. But since uh, I got one unread message. All right. I got to check that out right quick. But I had a nice little, nice little day here, man. Nice little day here. So I enjoyed myself at this mall. I think this is what? East Town Mall here in uh, Wisconsin. Guys, if y'all ever get a chance to get out, get out and enjoy yourself, man. You know, it's it's not the trucker's life is not about shippers and receivers. It's all about getting out and doing what you want to do out here, man, while making sure that you get the load there on time. <laughs> right here you know what I'm saying and you know a lot of guys a lot of youtubers out there have made videos on how to fuel a truck you know you come over to the fuel pump punching your information and you start fueling the truck 
it's no difference than fuel in the car. Except you gotta go through a little bit more, a little bit more with a truck than you gotta do with a car. But you are, you know, well, you really wanna know what my pet peeve is, what loves right quick. But look at that, man. How you expect to get a clean windshield and clean mirrors with that? So I got a tip for you guys. Go into Love's and get yourself this boy right here. A little bit of Dawn, you know what I'm saying? Go in there and get you some of this right quick. And then what you do is you just pour some in there. After you do that, hold on right quick, let me put on my gloves. After you do that, you come over and then shake it up a little bit. Get it real nice and soapy. Real nice and soapy. Now after you get it nice and soapy, then you got a good, you, you got good suds in there to clean your windshield. Working for JBS. Uh, All right, what you say now? Uh, May. Oh, May of this year? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And you just been with them ever since? Yeah. yeah. How they how they treat you? Oh, awesome. I like it. I've, I I uh, worked in Green Bay. You know, as a delivery driver for so long. And you just decided to take it to the next level. Yeah, when I moved up finally, you know. That's how you do it. I mean, that's how a lot of us do it, man. I mean, I, I've i been wanting to drive since I was in my 20s. Yeah, I yeah. got to the point where I've been wanting to, I think it's like 2008 or something like that to get my CDL, but it's like that big commitment of that chunk of money and taking time off to go to school. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's what it's all about, the money. Well. <laughs> As you know, my name is Sharon. What's yeah. your name again? Brian. 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 Yeah. All right, man. It's good yeah. to meet y'all. You have five hours and fifty-two minutes of remaining drive time. Finally made it down here to Columbus. That's that's the end of the trip. That's it. The end of the trip. The end of the video. <laughs>